project with you all. At Miami Springs Academy for Innovative Hi. Education, the future is now. And this first period robotics class is fully embracing it. It's part of a program called the Flying Classroom. It has definitely made me realize the importance of technology in our world. The program inspires thousands of students nationwide to explore careers in STEM. Anthony Delgado is learning how to build a solar powered go-kart. They're trying to tell us that we can do it no matter how hard it is. Show me what you do. It's all a part of founder Captain Barrington Irving's passion project. You don't call your students students, you call them explorers. Yeah. Why do you do that? We purposely call all of our students explorers because we want them to build a mindset of exploration. Everything isn't contained to a textbook. It's also contained within experiences and exploration. Irving, who grew up in Miami's inner city, had a mentor who suggested flying. I fell in love with aviation and I wanted to share that passion with others. He went on to earn his wings, create a nonprofit, and built his plane. I started off with three holes in the bottom of my shoes. When I came here, begging people for parts, begging people for support, that's where I started. At the age of 23, he broke a world record, becoming the youngest person to fly around the world solo. He's now using his trips to inspire the next generation of adventurers. Glaciers teach students about temperature and climate. Students build cars to learn about friction and suspension. Take your time. And studying owl pellets from Key West open eyes to biodiversity. I feel like a surgeon. The flying classroom taking students beyond traditional lessons. I've had a chance to work with all types of kids from different backgrounds, different walks of life. And it's powerful to see when that light bulb clicks for them. Opening new worlds and helping kids soar like Irving. So, Constance, this is a great story. I understand now he's opening a school for adults. Yes, it's a vocational school. Of course, we've heard a lot about pilot shortages, but there's a lot of positions open in aviation, and this school is going to provide a direct pipeline for those jobs that are needed. All right, Constance, thanks very much. And they're flying over us right yes, now. They are. <laughs> thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.